Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. Today we're going to talk about a type of welding called orbital welding or tube welding and how it's advanced in technology today. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll dive right into it. See you right after this. Okay, so this is an orbital welding setup, okay? The thing about this orbital welder is that you gotta use a filler rod. This right here, as the cylinder rotates, as the pipe rotates. And you just gotta keep dipping, 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 dipping. It's a TIG welding process, so as the pipe rotates, you dip, you dip, you dip, you dip, you dip. Of course, you got your 100% argon. That argon is actually supplied to the inside of the pipe to give you the shielding that you need. So not only do you have inside gas coverage from the argon going into the cylinder here, you have inside gas coverage. You also have outside gas coverage from the torch. So that provides double coverage inside and out as you weld. But these days you don't necessarily have to do that. Let's take a look at some new welding tech. So now I'm gonna show you the uh, Axair Orbital Welding Machine. So this is our SAX power supply cooling units. And this is our 76 head. So this can weld from quarter inch all the way to three inch OD. Uh, mostly used to weld stainless, titanium, ink canal usually thinner wall, um, anywhere from 20 thousandths up to 120 thousandths. This type of weld, it's butt weld, no gap, no bevel, no filler metal. The way this works, the machine automatically creates the program for the pipe or tube that you need to weld. To create a program, it's very easy. All you need to know is material type, diameter, wall thickness, and the type of prep. So to create a program, you're gonna click on add, Select one of blank fields. Select which machine I'm using. So here we're using the 76 head. Type in my diameter, uh, two inch actually, two inch. We're doing a 065 wall. Just select the material, stainless. From there, based on the wall thickness, the machine automatically recognizes what prep. So here it's a butt weld, no bevel. And then I can automatically create my program. And from this, the machine is gonna calculate how fast it needs to go, how much amperage, how much gas flow we need on the inside, outside, and all the different parameters. A nice feature about this machine is you can run the internal purge for your tube straight from the power supply. So I'm gonna add this right now with a quick step. I'm gonna go in my options. Click on bag gas, select yes. I can input the length of the tube and it's gonna calculate me an estimated purge time. Once I've added this, I can go ahead and save. And now my program is ready to run. Before I launch the program, I'm gonna show you a little bit the well head, how it looks and how we set it up. So this is our well head right here. So you can see we have a piece of tungsten that's going to be rotating around the tube during the weld. So in one pass, 360 degrees, a little bit more, we're gonna be able to weld. So you can notice, fur free, no bevel. And for the fit up, I'm just gonna put the two pieces, butt them up one against each other, check the alignment with the tungsten. I'm all set, I can just come and close this flap, lock this, and back to the power supply, I can from here start the welding cycle. So on the screen we have everything that's going on. So right now we're filling up the inside and the outside of the head with argon to make sure there's no more oxygen to get a clean weld. And in about three seconds we're going to arc. Also 
also records all the data, so that way you can do quality checks and data acquisition. Every single weld is recorded every second on the parameters. is done, we can open up and check out our weld. Alright guys, like, share, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments, and don't forget to go to Calibrate.com, we got some great products over there for you, don't forget to sign up for the email list, and I'll see you guys next time.